Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna shot you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Time to call Enzo. <sighs> All right. Tile this. <clears throat> yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. Mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. Why the fuck should I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. 
Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear, Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. We should get moving. Looks like it's a little late for that. Deal's a deal. Let's go. Friends of yours. Pussy ass motherfuckers. Get away from me. in a couple of spots I got round the quarry. No way I'm just walking away and leaving all this to sell. Right there's the first batch. Rig that one up, then we'll move on to the rest. You weren't kidding about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our pickers in the ground and fucking the stone out. But all we ended up with was chap nut sacks. <laughs> well, there you are. Time's to cover. It's like Christmas coming up. I got that son of a bitch.
Let's blow this pop stand. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We got all sorts of supplies in these trailers. Maybe something you can use. Can't wait to kill your dumb ass. Oh, where were you at? You get flayed, cocksucker! Fuck off on the way! You know this ain't right. Don't get more personal than that, cocksucker! Not be. Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? No, I love. Get me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Choo choo! <laughs> Ooh, right on time! Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So we, uh, we got the goddamn devil working right here. Where was I? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, so, yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942, no, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out, but she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying, smacks him a bit, wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn blue streak. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her? She was passing through on her way to Hollywood, but it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla, the love of his life. God damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sal. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it.
Come on, come on, let's go. Turns out there's at least one sane motherfucker in Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti backed away clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. Took care of securing this part of the city for you. The boys are looking forward to making their sales at home as soon as possible. I'm glad to hear we got Marcano's cocksuckers on the run, and I'm willing to look past the fact that you didn't call me about this action, if you just give me the turf altogether. I appreciate you getting someone else to lock down this turf while I got shit up and running in our last district. But now I'm ready to take this part of the city, too. Can't go wrong here, brother, as long as you lean my way. <laughs> I get it. You gotta consider all your options. Think long and hard about this. Make the two of us, we're not escaping each other. Might as well embrace it. Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. This ought to fit real nice with what we already got going in the holler. Sends the right message to our people as well. You're just keeping me around here to look pretty. Because right now, I'm struggling to find one goddamn reason to even be here. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. 